The question is basic. Why did Enric Bernard devote himself to start producing lollipops in the 1950s? The answer is simple. Bernard wanted to make life easier for the parents and especially mothers of little children. As he claims, I saw sweets didn't suit their main consumers, children. They got their hands sticky and ran into trouble with their parents. So I stuck a sweet on a stick. One could assume that Enric Bernard was a huge football fan. It may be indicated by the fact that he called his first lollipops goal. Enthusiasm rises after sport fans and footballers see a goal. The name goal was supposed to make the consumers excited about putting the lollipop in their mouth. The name, however, did not stick around for long. Bernay realized that in order for the lollipops to be recognizable, the name has to be as memorable as possible. He then decided to reach out for help to a professional agency, which came up with the name Chops. The word comes from a Spanish verb, chupar, which translated to English means to suck. The consumers liked the name so much that they started adding the word chupa to it. Eventually, in 1961, the full name Chupa Chops was created and functions till this day. Bernard was aware that a great logo is the basis of success. One day, while drinking coffee with his friend, the surrealistic painter Salvador Dali, he was telling him that he needs a great logo. Dolly did not hesitate, and within an hour, he sketched a logo for him on the newspapers that were lying around. The effect of his work was impressive. In 1969, the splendid logo shaped like a clover was created. Since then, the logo underwent only one revision in 1988. The characteristic feature of the logo in Chupa Chups is its placing. When you look at the wrap, the logo was on top of the lollipop, not on the sides. It's no coincidence. Salvador Dali suggested that his logo should be placed there and not on the sides. Thanks to him, the logo is intact. It's proved to be one of the most enduring pieces of branding ever. In the American criminal series Kojak, an inherent element of Lieutenant Theo Kojak is a lollipop. It's then no surprise that the main protagonist of these series, Kojak Tally Salvas, enjoyed a chupa chops in each and every episode. It's thanks to these series that the lollipops gained a huge popularity in the 70s. In the 90s, lollipop became a trend and a fashion element. Chupa Chops appeared in the hands of some of the greatest stars like Madonna or Michael Jackson. Stop smoking, start sucking. Chupa Chops was also engaged in the anti-tobacco campaign in the 1990s. A Dutch footballer and coach, Johan Cruijff, changed his smoking for sucking a lollipop during the games. The current slogans also encouraged to change a cigarette for lollipop. As you can see, there are even some packages parroting a pack of cigarettes. Each detail was taken care of, even the warning labels. When I read about it at first, it also seemed a little strange to me. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Chupa Chups were the first lollipops in history to end up in space. After the establishment of the company in Petersburg in 1995, a batch of lollipops was created exclusively to be sent to the Russian space station Mir. It was another huge publicity stunt for the company. During a live broadcast, audience from all over the globe had the opportunity to witness Russian astronauts with Chupa Chups. The Chupa Chups mascot, Chuck, is a very peculiar character. He has no voice. However, he's very cute and friendly. Currently, Chupa Chups is owned by an international corporation called Perfetti Van Mele, which is the third largest producer of sweets worldwide. Chupa Chups, as well as many other brands, are managed by this corporation.